Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Um, what I really love about this film is what I, it does what I think all movies should be doing, which is taking themes and stories that people are used to, but delivering it in a creative and new way. Was that kind of what drew you in? Yeah, I mean, it's just when, when something smacks of this kind of originality, like so immediately, that's just, it's rare. And, 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 and you know, to be able to, to be able to do like such heightened, mad, ridiculous, fantastic stuff and at the same time hold that in the same world of like a lot of very emotional and profound stuff and like for them not to be in conflict with each other and actually like balance each other wonderfully it was just like this is this is great this is great writing so yeah yeah i mean i you know um look the page you know three of the script there's a you know a dead body that that parts like a and takes them off like a human jet ski and um you know that's that's really all all you need to get me to do a film. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a lot of stuff that's being delved into here, specifically you know a lot of themes of just you know what is life, and does that make you reflect on yourself like during the whole process of realizing maybe you had an epiphany like the whole time? I think it made me feel really lucky to be alive, like in a very very simple pure way, just like. Isn't it? Because also the job was incredibly fun. So there was a, an element. Of, there was one layer of just like, oh my god, I'm so lucky to have this job and to be be working in this industry with these amazing people. But there's there was something about the film and, and I guess Manny that is like, it does make you appreciate this. Like life is so weird and so beautiful, and and we're so lucky to get to have one. Yeah, I mean, I think that's you know part of uh, like you know art or whatever you know yeah it makes you like think and feel and it's entertaining but it's got layers and sure like doing this yeah absolutely it makes you think about life i mean that's what it's that's what it's supposed to do and of course paul you're no kind of stranger to being musical in any way whatsoever but being able to bring a little bit of that into this experience is that kind of layer on for you at all yeah. it's so fun i mean we you know all the music most of the music was crafted before we actually filmed so we had it there with us in the woods we got to play it we got to sing it brought incredible energy and sort of spirit to what we were doing and, and also just helped to fill out you know the film because when you read or think about some of the images you're going to see mm. and then to put this kind of music to it i mean it's really beautiful and epic um and that was super fun yeah. Yeah, when I first heard some of the music, that was one of the moments where I was like, because I'd read the script and I understood how it could be funny and I understood how it could be heartfelt, but it was this sort of this sort of epic grandeur that I, I had that was was I was like, okay, I wonder if, how, how are we going to make that come across? And and the music I do think is like a huge part of that. The first time I heard the music, I was like, oh, okay, now I get, I kind of understand the film we're making tonally. Did you fight though to get some of your rhyme skills in there? No. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready when you are to do a Blacklist tribute group though, because they're like one of my favorites. So I'm ready oh, to go. No, I, I, I didn't. I, I made, We did. We were allowed. There was one moment where they said, just like, just make up a song, and then I just like found one note and kept doing this one note. And then what's cool is that you go and see a movie six months later, and like amazing musicians have composed something <laughs> around that one note that you did, and it's like, okay, this is so cool. And you both have from your past, I'm sure if people come up to you still rehashing lines from films or something that you want to basically, they want to bring up to you because they're such big fans, but are you afraid of now people come up to you like maybe trying to flashlight in your direction or force water spouts to come out of you? Uh, I, would, I, I don't, I don't want to tempt fate by saying I would love that, but I would kind of love that. Um, <laughs> I think that, I don't know, that's, I feel like if people are coming up to me on the street talking about Manny, I'll be super happy.